And so let's go through creating a new voice thread, which is at the top here. And when we click on that, it wants us to add media. We could add all different types of things here. We have a lot of options when we click add media. It says it could be from your computer, media sources, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can look into these. Often with the discussion, I tend to just have an image. You could have a video. You could have lots of things. But I tend to just have an image, and then I start the, everything off by making my own kind of start off main comment. And so I'm going to just pull an image from my computer, and we'll we'll just go with Einstein. So when you do that, and you say you go ahead and upload it, then you can create a title. So we're just going to go with test. We could go with Einstein's awesome, whatever we want to do here. We could add a description if we want. There's also playback options. These are settings that are really important that we're not going to go over in this video. You could also give it different cover art. When I'm creating multiple voice threads, and I know I will be teaching this multiple times, for instance, if I have a, a master shell or a place that I can copy from and work in, in that course, I will just name it its title. We could say Einstein's awesome. If I use this for a different class later, I would probably change its title to add the term in it. And that just helps me keep it organized. Uh, so you can change this title later, but it's kind of about the only thing that you want to make sure that you add before you leave and you save here. Okay, so you could just, you have edit options here, op other options over there. We'll go over those in more depth in a different video. You could go ahead and add your comment. So usually I'll have kind of a landing image and then I will add a comment to start us off. So if it's a discussion, I would introduce myself and ask them what I'm wanting them to talk about, basically get things going. So we will want to, we could add the comment if we wanted to. I tend to just go ahead and create it and share it with the class, but that's in a situation where I'm creating in advance of the class. You may want to go ahead and create your introduction comment before you make something live and share it. It's up to you. But if you go ahead and click share with the class, you have to click it again. And then that link is active in relation to that, but it's still hidden from students. So you want to go ahead and make it visible to students. 